Welcome to another video by your friend, Matthew Sherling. Today I'm going to read a, a chunk of a long poem by Octavio Paz. The poem is called Sunstone, and here it goes. And this our life? When was it truly ours? And when are we truly whatever we are? For surely we are not. We never are anything alone but spinning and emptiness, crazy faces made in the mirror, horror, vomit. Life is not ours, it is the others. It is not anybody's. All of us are life, the bread of the sun for all of the others. All those others who are us, we ourselves. I am the other when I am myself. My acts are more my own when they are everybody's, because to be myself I must be other Go out of myself, seek myself among others, those others who are not if I do not exist. Others give me the fullness of my existence. I am not, there is no I, we are forever, and life is otherwise, always there, farther, beyond thee, beyond me, eternal horizon, life that is dying for us, life that is made for and advents us. Our faces eats them away, the thirst for existence death, bread of us all. Every day is a birth, and every daybreak another birthplace, and I am the break of day. Gateway of being, open your being, awaken, learn then to be. Begin to carve your face, develop your elements, and keep your vision keen to look at my face as I at yours, keen to look full at life right through to death. Faces of sea, of bread, of rock, of fountain, the spring of origin, which will dissolve our faces in the nameless face, existence without face, the inexpressible presence of presences. I want to go on, to go beyond. I cannot. The moment scatters itself in many things. I have slept the dreams of the stone that never dreams, and deep among the dreams of years like stones have heard the singing of my imprisoned blood, with a premonition of light, the sea sang, and one by one the barriers give way. All of the gates have fallen to decay. The sun has forced an entrance through my forehead, has opened my eyelids at last that were kept closed, unfastened my being of its swaddling clothes, has rooted me out of myself and separated me from my animal sleep centuries of stone and the magic of reflections resurrects willow of crystal a poplar of water a pillar of fountain by the wind drawn over tree that is firmly rooted and that dances turning course of a river that goes curving advances and retreats goes roundabout arriving forever <laughs> 